Okay, we are going to see how to diag diagnose a ABS light that is on on a 2004 Subaru STI. Uh, you have to find this connector here, uh, which is a black connector. Um, and it should be on the right hand side near the gas pedal. Actually, it's not there at all. It's on the, on the STI. It's completely on the left hand side. And okay, so those ground wire actually don't exist on the STI. You will have to make your own ground wire. So what I do is I use the a cutter pin like this. Okay. And I just uh, open it like this and I attach it just to a, a crocodile uh, connector and that's just so that we can get this to a ground so I'm gonna plug this into what they call terminal number six yeah so we're gonna plug that in there so that we can ground that terminal when we ground that terminal we'll be able to read the code uh, the code start with a long and a small, which so the longs are the uh, tens and the uh, shorts are the units. So here it's going to be, it's going to start always by 11, 1, 1, which is a start code. And after that, there is a list of codes depending on what the problem is and it's going to tell us the code. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in my connector. Connector here, I put my cutter pin in the bottom right corner, terminal number 6 and here I just have to ground the terminal so here I chose to uh, just use a bolt of the door there but any ground you can find will do I'm gonna put the key in the ignition and when I turn just on so even at the start 1, 2 Three, four, five, six, uh, one, two, three, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then those are all the one, one, and we will start one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So 52, that's the first code. So uh, once you have your first code, you can go and look in the list. That's an open circuit in motor relay, or motor relay on failure or motor malfunction. So the malfunction in the ABS is due to the ABS module here. Uh, which is, if you want to look at the engine bay here in that corner, has completely popped out of its bracket. So you see here. Uh, try to get the light better. That a rubber bushing there is supposed to be in that hole, and the same thing. This this uh, support here is supposed to be on the other side of the ABS module here on the inside. So that bolt with the rubber bushing comes in here and that does slide here to keep it in place in the bracket. So here everything popped out of place. Uh, you have the ABS connector in the back. Uh, so after a while it go, it's going to disconnect you with a vibration and that's going to cause all the lights to come on, the DCCD, uh, the ABS, the brake light, everything is going to be on on your dashboard as soon as this disconnects. Uh, so we are going to put the ABS bracket back in, the ABS back in place and we'll show you how to reset the code. So we put the uh, support back in place and the problem is that there is nothing on on top here to prevent the bolts from sliding out so um, uh, if you add uh, a big zip tie or equivalent that goes around the bracket uh, and prevent the ABS module from popping out uh, that will help you out in the long run also here the uh, put some light here the ABS connector was pushed out when the uh, 
uh, the ABS module popped out, so that's what triggered all the codes. Um, on my other car, I had when the ABS module popped out, I had the whole so the ABS the connector popped out of here, but it also grabbed the bottom and that connector here also popped out. Pops out. It's relatively easy to get your hand on the side, grab underneath, and just slide it back in as this. Okay, so now let's go back to the car and see how to reset the ABS codes. Make sure my uh, connector is uh, grounded so that I'm going to have the uh, ABS diagnos diagnostic code. My ignition is off. I turn it on. It's pulling the uh, it's pulling the ABS code. So while it's doing that now, I'm just going to disconnect this and the ABS light is on and now I do one two three and now the ABS light is on so if you do that three time you have to uh, unplug and replug for at least half a second and uh, do that within 12 seconds and now the ABS light is off and I can go and uh, so now my connector is disconnected <coughs> can go and start the car and uh, my ABS is reset I don't have any problem with any of my ABS sensors or anything so the ABS light stays off and this is fixed